these games are ranked by play score, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Number 10 is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, one of Nintendo's greatest surprises this year. Nobody would have ever guessed that Ubisoft and Nintendo would team up to bring their superstars into one super-powered crossover. Moving away from their usual platforming escapades, the costume bunnies of Rabbids and Mario's iconic gang have taken the turn-based strategy by storm. With silly child-friendly guns in hand, they enter the vibrant 3D world to battle it out with pesky goons in classic XCOM fashion. Despite the cutesy looks, this newest title is as brutal as its inspiration. It brings in a dash of strategic depth as you maneuver around the grid-based battlefield as Mario, Luigi, Peach, and the Rabbit Bunch. With its release on the Nintendo Switch, it also features a worthy local co-op mode, letting you share the tactical fun with your closest friends. Praise for walking the tightrope with the two franchises' family-friendly fun and competitive strategy, it has a play score of 8.29. Number 9 is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim As he might have expected, it looks like Todd Howard's hard sell tactics are still working to his favor. Originally released on the PC last 2011, this fifth entry of Bethesda's long-running series was popular for delivering one of the most compelling open-world experiences yet. It's found love in almost every platform since, and now it's feeling at home on Nintendo's newest console. Return to the dragon-laden world of Skyrim and take on a noble quest of the legendary Dragonborn. Dive into its medieval world of magic and immerse yourself in the not-so-everyday life of a warrior. Fight against dragons with an arsenal of weapons, join the ranks of your favorite guilds, find your lifelong partner, and so much more. One of this generation's modern open-world masterpieces, and now you can bring the adventure wherever you want. With its release on the Switch, it comes packed with the conveniences of motion-controlled battles and all the content of its official add-ons. It has a play score of 8.35. Number 8 is Cave Story Plus. Our first indie entry and there's no doubting it deserves its place. A classic platformer from the early 2000s, Nicholas has brought it back to the spotlight with this release on the Switch. Developed over five years by the one-man team of Daisuke Amaya, this Metroid-inspired adventure has won over hearts for its pixel-perfect environments, gameplay, and one-of-a-kind story. Play as its young protagonist and venture to the colorful land of Mimigas. With a villainous scientist plotting to turn its buddy citizens into ferocious beasts, put a stop to the madness as you journey through each of its stunning islands. For a game designed by a neophyte developer, it has definitely stood the test of time, owing to its remarkably polished execution. The experience is made even better with this Switch release. Enjoy upgraded graphics, remastered music, new modes and levels, and of course, an all-new co-op mode to share with a friend. It has a play score of 8.36. Number 7 is Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. While we're on the subject of indie hits, this Kickstarter creation of Yacht Club Games has flown far and wide since its campaign's success back in 2014. Known for their creative use of the 8-bit art style, Shovel Knight encapsulates the best of the classic games of the Pixel era. With their masterful strokes, they manage to make the throwback style seem fresh and modern, still making their environments as colorful and vibrant as today's games. Primarily starring the loyal shovel-wielding knight, the franchise has since added new knights to the chivalrous mix. This treasure trove edition brings all their DLCs into one neat package. Follow the story of Plague Knight as he ventures on a quest for the ultimate potion or dive into the shadows with the nimble Spectre Knight as he recruits people into the Enchantress Order. Arriving later as a free update will be the Golden Cloak King Knight fighting to be the one true monarch. All this and more await for each who partake on the Perilous Pixel quest. It has a play score of 8.41. Number 6 is Splatoon 2, the hotly awaited sequel to the Wii U original. Splatoon comes back with a grand splatter of exciting new surprises. It was one of Nintendo's hottest exclusives, and it continues to make both PC and console fans green with envy with its arrival on the Switch. Watch out for the return of the iconic squids, looking cool and trendy with their brand new wardrobe. Set two years after their award-winning debut, step inside a renewed Inkopolis and jump into their frantic arenas of inking delight. Their move to the Switch also comes with new weapons and new ways to play. Protect yourself from splats with a tent umbrella, find your way to the other side in the Snapper Canal, or take a trip back to the Wii U days in the new and improved Kelp Dome. 
play along with a friend in local and online multiplayer, and charge into battle with your motion-controlled Joy-Cons. It's Splatoon made even better, and it has a play score of 8.44. Number 5 is Stardew Valley. Aside from the many all-star additions to the Switch roster, it was this port of the quaint farming simulation that got everybody a buzz. One of the most popular indie titles released on the PC last year, Eric Barone's role-playing game has gained traction for reviving the feel of old titles like Harvest Moon. Exhibiting an all-too-familiar art style, it brought us back to the simpler days of gaming, along with a slew of welcome additions. Enter your very own farm and settle into the role of farmer as you build up your life within a life. Aside from raising animals and harvesting crops, you can also build relationships with your lovely neighbors, improve your skills, explore caves, cook your favorite meals, go fishing, or go in search for your one true love. With the added portability of the Switch, Stardew is even harder to put down. It's an enchanting experience that will continue to draw you in with their heartwarming sights and relaxing soundtracks. It has a play score of 8.46. Number 4 is Sonic Mania. The release that marks Sonic's return to his most beloved form. Prepare for a nostalgic dash through memory lane with Sega's fastest blue hedgehog. In this throwback feature, they're bringing back the trademark pixels of his old 2D form. Step into the shoes of Sonic as he once again ventures into his flat world to stop Robotnik's evil plans. With his return, of course, is a handful of new features and surprises that aim to revitalize their already legendary past. Free from the limits of the old consoles, Sonic Mania brings new life to their renowned stages, running their HD graphics in today's standard 60 frames per second. Sprinkling new tricks into the classics, relive the ring-collecting excitement with new bosses and brand new secrets to discover. A culmination of Sonic's best years brought to the modern eyes, it has a play score of 8.53. Number 3 is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. As disappointed as fans were about not having a new Mario Kart title, their voices seem to have been drowned out by the chorus of intense competition. The racing game that brought unmitigated fun and disaster to Nintendo consoles made a mad dash to the new machine in the form of a beautiful remaster. Improving on the flaws of the Wii U original, this deluxe version holds a treasure trove of new features. Gather all your friends and prepare to lose them along the road to victory. With twice the ammo for treacherous items, the competition is tighter than ever before. Use the smart steering feature to maneuver past the strategically placed traps as you ride along the new courses like Urchin Underpass and the brutal Battle Stadium. Other than the veteran racers, it also comes with appearances from Dry Bones, Inklings, King Boo, and so much more. It even gives the once boring battle mode a new lease on life. With 5 new game modes and 8 custom arenas, it has a play score of 8.95. Number 2 is Super Mario Odyssey. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, the iconic plumber has conquered the Switch's stage, giving delight to Nintendo fans through racing and gun-toting action. While we haven't had the full extent of Mario Superstar titles on the console, Nintendo has undoubtedly exceeded all expectations with this newest open-world title. A total diversion from the restrictive formula of their last successes, Odyssey opened up a new chapter in Mario's story. It expands his familiar Mushroom Kingdom horizons and takes him into an imaginative world of discovery. Another feather in his now-sentient cap, Nintendo once again demonstrates their flair for the creative and extraordinary. Roam around the magical lands with your new buddy, Cappy, and let his powers turn yourself into whatever object takes your fancy. Collect power moons around the streets of New York, or become a dinosaur and graze about in your new primitive playground. An exercise in innovation, Mario has once again made history. It has a play score of 9.35. And here are the runners-up before we reveal the number one. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. A sequel to the Wii original, step inside the Elysium and marvel in its open-world paradise. It has a play score of 8.29. The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus. Isaac rediscovers his fears as he faces off with new bosses in his nightmarish basement. It has a play score of 8.22. Minecraft, Nintendo Switch Edition. Minecraft breaches brand new soil and delivers as expected. The voxel world is as enchanting on the portable, and it has a play score of 8.2. Disgaea 5 Complete 
take on the tactical battles with Demon Kilia as he leads his army on a hilarious path to vengeance. It has a play score of 8.17. Puyo Puyo Tetris The frenetic crossover of two arcade giants. Drop blobs and blocks along with friends in a variety of multiplayer modes. It has a play score of 8.14. Golf Story Sidebar games twist on the traditional golf game. Enter their adorable golf-centric open world and put along with their diverse characters. It has a play score of 8.13. Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap Follow the story of a shape-shifting cursed boy and his quest to restore his former self. It has a play score of 8.11. Lego City Undercover A master class in brick destruction, join Chase McCain as he tries to capture villain Rex Fury in typical cop movie fashion. It has a play score of 8. Pokémon Tournament DX Bandai Namco's Pokémon fighting game inspired by the Tekken franchise. It has a play score of 7.92. Blaster Master Zero Indie creates resurrects Jason's Metroidvania adventures with new friends, weapons, and abilities. The right way to remaster and it has a play score of 7.91. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And the best Switch game of 2017 is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The competition for the best Switch game this year was a fierce one, but Link's breathtaking adventures in Hyrule has proved itself worthy of the title. The years of fervent anticipation since the first delicious preview was all worth it in the end. When it released along with the Switch last March, we were gifted an open-world experience that did not hold our hands. It unlocked each corner of the map from the first go, and all we needed to do was step inside Link's shoes and start exploring. Rediscover the secrets of the Magical Kingdom as the Destiny-bound Link attempts to fulfill the prophecy of Calamity Ganon's destruction. Aside from the title's spectacular visuals, it also levels up the series' signature puzzling dungeons with their innovative emergent gameplay. Dive into cavernous halls and use runes in combination with your imagination to create ingenious solutions. A force to be reckoned with in terms of visuals and gameplay, Breath of the Wild is highly deserving of Game of the Year. Winning first place with only a sliver, it has a play score of 9.36.